this would be something like Streptococcus, Group A Streptococcus, which could cause quite a nasty skin infection if it got into a wound. Growing in these laboratory petri dishes are dangerous levels of harmful bacteria. Sky News asked microbiologists to take samples of flood water from people's homes and gardens on the Somerset levels. And this is what their analysis showed. Evidence of faecal contamination, such as E. coli, as well as we've got evidence of Streptococcus and Legionella. Uh, these things, while they may be harmless when floating around in flood water, if you were to get them into an open wound or into your mouth or on your food, could cause some quite severe gastrointestinal illnesses. Residents in Moorland feared as much. Their septic tanks have been overflowing for weeks. We've got no mains drainage in the village. We're all, all in the same boat. We've all got this coming, and some people even worse, because it's in through their houses. It just means, you know, the longevity of this is even, even longer. It's, you know, two or three months for it to biodegrade and go into the ground naturally. Tests found that the flood water has 60 to 70,000 bacteria in it per 100 millilitres. The World Health Organization says bathing water should have no more than 500 bacteria in it per 100 millilitres. And agricultural water should have no more than 1,000 bacteria in it. The economic cost and the inconvenience of this flood water is clear to see. But now these scientific tests prove what the residents here have feared for a long time, that this water is a health hazard and it is a constant and an uphill struggle to keep this water away from people. Public health and the local authorities have insisted the risk of contamination is minimal. We would expect flood water to contain bacteria. It's quite normal. But what our experience shows us is that people heed the messages about good hygiene and we, we're not seeing any great increase in um, outbreaks of disease. We're not seeing anything like that. So the key message is that people wash their hands and wipe down surfaces and are very careful about making sure their hands are clean before they handle food. But scientists have found that mild fevers, as well as diarrhoea and vomiting, are ongoing risks from the miles of dirty flood water here. And with few flushing loos, public health worries are now a major concern. Isabel Webster, Sky News, on the Somerset Levels.